A strike of social service workers in Butler County is now in its second day, and as the pickets continue, questions come up about how local families could be affected. Local 12's Larry Davis spoke to both sides today. He joins us live from Hamilton, where it looks like the uh, pickets, Larry, are in full force. Absolutely, Rob. Those tickets, uh, pickets, about two dozen of them behind me right here. Uh, outside the Government Services Center in downtown Hamilton, day two of the strike. And while county officials say no appointments have been missed and there have been no real problems, the union says things really aren't running that smoothly. The striking social workers continue to pick up support from the sidewalk to the street. They are glad and they're doing it, yay! Thank you, thank you! Union leaders came armed with documents showing a disparity in the pay raises received by supervisors versus social workers. While pay is behind the walkout, the strikers also claim there are 29 adoptions currently awaiting an administrative signature. However, those overseeing the adoptions are walking the picket lines. We spend a lot of time with these kids. We spend a lot of time getting to know them, getting to know their families, getting to know all the people that's involved in their life. So it's very hard to not be there for them to help you know, move along this process. Kelly Souter works in adoptions for children's services and is an adoptive parent herself. The union claims those adoptions are currently on hold while the children anxiously await going to a new family. They'll make calendars to mark off their days. They'll, they'll tell you they picked out their outfit. They'll tell you who they're inviting to their adoption. They'll tell me, oh, can you invite my old caseworker? Can you invite my guardian at Lytum? These kids get so, so excited. And Robert County spokesperson confirms that there are 29 adoptive cases in the pipeline right now, but he says that the, they are proceeding and there will be no delay in those adoptions. Now, the union also claims that some of those social workers who are in the union decided to continue working and not walk the picket lines. But after they get off work, some have elected to walk on the picket lines. Now, the union claims that the county has told those workers that if they do that again, that they will be locked out of their office. The county says it has no uh, knowledge of that. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Larry, thanks very much. Love to talk to you, but I bet you can't hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> the county is filling the void left by striking workers, at least trying to, by hiring some new permanent employees. Supervisors are also handling cases. So far, no new contract talks are scheduled. Coming up